everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This is day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas projects. And you guys challenged me to use the Christmas Barn Bundle. It wasn't really in my wheelhouse, but I accepted the challenge and boy, do I love what I came up with. I have fallen in love with this bundle. Unfortunately, the day before today, the stamp set is sold out, of course. That's how things go in December when everything is while supplies last. So this is for those of you that already have the stamp set, but the dies are still available, which are really really awesome dies as well. All right, we're going to make a gift card holder. I don't know about you guys, but here the last week of school before Christmas, it's all about the gift cards and we are using we are making tons of gift card holders. Gift cards for teachers, gift cards for friends, gift cards for coaches. All kinds of gift cards are going out this week. So, this is a really simple gift card holder that you can make. All right, we're going to do our stamping first. I have already stamped these trees right here. You want to stamp two evening evergreen trees on evening evergreen um, cardstock and two soft succulent trees on soft succulent cardstock. Then we've got a evening evergreen seasonal label. The things that we're going to stamp though so that we can cut them out are the sentiment which says Merry Christmas to you and yours. All right, and then we're going to stamp the um, wreath. And I'm going to stamp the wreath in Evening Evergreen. Like that. And then I'm just going to take my Cherry Cobbler and color in that bow. Now I have also cut out the fence. I didn't show you guys. I'll show you in a second. The fence and the little sign from craft cardstock. I did as much as ahead of time as I could. Now, we're gonna cut these out with our matching dies. Let's get those. Got that and that. And then we're also gonna, let's put start putting together the actual gift card holder. Once we bring the cut and emboss machine over here, you're gonna need to do some cutting. Here's the first piece that you need. It's four and a fourth by nine, and you score it at one, four, five, and six. And we're going to fold this in half right here. This is going to be sticking up like this, okay? And you can actually do, do it either way. It doesn't matter as long as you have a point like that. We're gonna take a, this is from the Sending Smiles dies, and we're gonna cut it out just halfway like that to create that little slit for a gift card. If you don't have this die, you can use any long skinny dies that you might have. Um, you could also use a long and skinny punch if you have that. All right, so I'm gonna set that on there. I'm using post-it tape to hold it in place. And we'll run that through. All right. There we go. And you'll see how that works in just a second. That's what we ended up with. Now we're gonna do our other little two pieces of die cutting, the wreath and the Merry Christmas. Now the Merry Christmas is a very close cut. So what I suggest is also grabbing some post-it tape and getting it Perfect, as perfect as you can, and setting down that washi tape, I mean that post-it tape, and then running them through. We've got our wreath, and I love when the dies have words that, or word dies, that will cut right around the words. Look at that, isn't that awesome? All right, let's start putting this card together. Let's come back to this piece. Remember how we had it pointed like that. Grab some tear and tape, and you wanna put some tear and tape right along that fold line, okay? You've gotta leave room right here for the gift card to slide in, all right? So now take your, take your pick tool or your paper snips, and that will help get that backing off, hopefully, like that. Fold that over, and now you've got that point. All right, let's see, where's my other gift card? And I'll show you how that just slides. 
right in, if I can get it, right in like that, all right? Now up here on the one inch part, the one inch section, cut those corners off. And then take your adhesive. Um, let me see if I remember how I wanna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna adhere it like this, okay? So you wanna put the adhesive on this side. Sometimes I have to talk myself through. All right, and then you've got another piece, four by four and a fourth that you've scored at one. We're gonna adhere that section right into that section. And we cut the corners off just in case our cardstock is a little bit off, maybe, you know, a 16th of an inch bigger, we won't see those poking out. All right, so now how does it fold up? This folds up like that, and that folds down like that. And there's your gift card holder. Now I've cut lots of paper to put on here. On the front, we're gonna put a piece of craft that I have embossed with a timber embossing folder right there. All right, and then on the front, we're gonna put a piece of that gorgeous Fitting Florets Designer Series paper. Now open it back up and we're gonna use some more Fitting Florets Designer Series paper. These little berries, I didn't do it, but you can color them with your Cherry Cobbler Stamp and Blend and make them look like um, holly berries. All right, and then we've got another piece of our gingham. Hopefully I cut it the right size. Looks like it's a little bit big. Okay, let's trim it. Let's trim it. Let's see, can I do it with my scissors? I think I can. It's got those lines on it. it helps you cut it pretty straight. There we go. Okay, and then another piece down here of the holly berries. All right, so you put your gift card in here. Oh, I also had a little piece of basic white to go right here for, you know, you can write your message. All right, now fold it all up and grab your silver threaded twine. I thought this was a good choice because it's rustic, like our, our barn and our gingham. And tie your bow, this is how you're gonna keep it closed. Like that, okay? There we go. All right, now let's put our other piece together. We have our um, Evening Evergreen. Forgot the, the color, Evening Evergreen. And I'm gonna take Evening Evergreen ink with the tree, and I'm gonna stamp and stamp again. All right, so I'm creating layers of trees in different colors, different strengths. Stamp, stamp again stamp, stamp again. That's just kind of giving you that forest look back there. Now I have these two soft succulent trees and I really added them in just to kind of give us a little bit of contrast. I'm gonna put one here and one here. They're really just gonna be in the background of these other two trees. All right, here are the two trees that I stamped in Evening Evergreen ink on evening evergreen cardstock. And we'll put one kind of high up like that. Let's make it straight. And then one's kind of low, lower like that. And then I have cut out a piece of, uh, I used the ice die, this one right here, to cut out a piece of our snowy velvet. Um, paper. This is some of our specialty paper. It's flocked and it's really beautiful. And I'm going to put that right across the bottom. Here is that fence I talked about and I put an adhesive sheet on the back to make it easy. And we'll put that right across there like that. Now we have the little sign. It also has an adhesive backing because I cut it out of the same piece that I cut the fence out of. And we're gonna put that kind of high up like that. And we'll take our wreath and let's use many dimensionals for this. Many dimensional right there and right there. And the last thing is our sentiment. 
So I wanted to show you a project that you can make with this bundle without using the barn. The barn is obviously the focus because it's called Christmas barn, but you don't always have to use the barn. Sometimes you can keep it simpler and just use the other stamps in your set. All right, last but not least, we're gonna put this on here and sandwich that twine right with dimensionals and let's pull that bow down a little bit so we can get this guy in here like that and there you have it a fun rustic country christmas barn without the barn gift card holder all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this project remember there's another project featuring the christmas barn on my blog click the link here on youtube it'll take you back to my blog you'll find the measurements and the supply list and a chance to win a bundle thanks everybody bye